All right, so with Netmarble giving us one free Dog Holy Relic through the Ragnarok special login bonus event, where you need to log in every single day for 14 days to get all the materials and you cannot miss a day, and, but you can sort of log in uh, a little bit early. As soon as these servers uh, come back from maintenance and before the actual daily reset, we'll be able to sort of get one additional day in if you want for the login event. But like you don't need it and well because we're gonna be able to craft a holy relic like the best holy relic to actually craft is of course thonars it's if you don't have this holy relic it's gonna help you clear the dog so much easier because it increases your age related stats by 10 percent up to four time and also fills your ultimate move gauge by one orb whenever owner herself uses a skill on the it's golden hearty demonic beast battle now why it's so good or what it actually like enables you to do is run so many different teams like you're not stuck to using like one or two teams that will were usable before instead you have like plenty of different teams plenty of new units that are able to actually benefit from some buffs that this holy relic provides and are able to actually work on the dogs and like they didn't do that before and one of those units is of course reinhard van nastria now if you don't know thonar's passive it actually increases your attack related stats by 40 percent which doesn't really work on reinhard like the only thing that it works on is like him getting some extra crit chance crit damage as well as pierce rate from the attack related stats but he doesn't benefit from from the attack percent bonus and that's because all his attacks are based on hp so his flood is based on hp his sever card is based on hp as well as his ultimate so he's purely based on like hp to deal his damage but now with the holy relic he's gonna get an addition of 40 percent hp related stats which includes hp that's gonna increase his damage he is gonna be viable and that's what we're gonna try out today now the other two units that i'm using are of course Freyr. Freyr of course is gonna increase our all stats by well after a couple of turns 10 to 15 percent and it's gonna vary every single turn between 10 and 15 percent. You are of course gonna be able to lose some buff if say you get frozen or the dogs use that attack that like removes buffs or whatever. Other than that I think Freyr is better than Skadi uh, for the purpose of actually buffing Reinhard. Though Skadi of course increases the damage dealt, she reduces the damage taken. He also has a buff removal card. Freyr though, he does have this card which can come in handy. But either way, like I really like Skadi but I kind of want to run a different set of teams because I can't just run Skadi and the one ultimate, right? And because we don't have Skadi because we're running Freyr, I am actually going to run Brunhild because of her heal card. So with her ultimate she's able to heal. Now Freyr is also going to help us with his is ultimate which is a death type ultimate same as the old the one Eskinor. mine is at 4-6 but i can get it to 5-6 though i don't want to because it's better to have him 4-6 than 5-6 for the their boss but anyway so their gear is of course attack crit on freyr and Bronhild. they have attack crit as you can see uh thonar though she has hp defense with uh crit resistance sub rolls but you can go hp crit resistance you can go attack crit resistance with like crit resistance or defense percent sub rolls it's all up to you do what feels best for you and you can just make r pieces try it out see how it works because r pieces are of course like easier to re-roll they only cost gold instead of like anvil so and reinhardt's gear is hp defense but i think hp crit chance is better and like the top pieces you want to have like crit chance and crit damage about 50 percent each this one has more crit chance this one has more crit damage but it's about 50 percent because it doesn't benefit from attack and like all the other sub rolls are like the normal ones and this is the cards that, that i'm running the uh, well newest demonic beast card set we'll see if we get a newer one with the skull and hati cards that are able to drop um with the new patch that's live on jp at the moment and coming to global next tuesday with this team what's nice about this team is actually we can go like this usually you don't really deal any damage until you get to the fourth attack uh, because of course she buffs your attack related stats by 40 percent but with this we can actually deal a little bit of chip damage on the third attack if we attack with reinhard so because we're getting like 20 percent hp related stats it's going to increase his hp by 20 percent he will be able to do a little bit of chip damage not as much as if he gets like the crit chance crit damage and pierce rate bonus from like the third attack bonus uh, with thonar's passive but it's still gonna be enough and then we can just do one of these attacks or something so that is like one benefit of actually running reinhard like another way is of course his uh, passive roulette uh here he actually got a like the evasion passive it's one of the worst ones you can get, I guess, because the boss doesn't really target him. But he can get, like, the all stat bonus. He can get the 50% damage increase bonus. Here, of course, he doesn't take any damage, but he's pretty much not gonna be targeted anyway. I think they target Brunhild for whatever reason. So, yeah, here we're just gonna see what sort of damage we can deal. Um, 
I will be able to maybe kill the boss here if I go. So I'll get her ultimate. I'll also get Tonar's ultimate, I think. So I think this might kill if I just go like this. Actually, I'll go like this, even if it doesn't kill. Because uh, I will be able to heal. I'll do that later. But I do want to like clear the next phase in one turn. I'm not sure how hard these cleave cards are actually going to hit for. Will that be enough? Maybe it will. Oh yeah. Alright. That was the correct choice. Because I do have a lot of ultimates now that I can use. And uh, Reinhardt of course only got evasion. Which is a little bit unfortunate. But I did get the 5% uh, all stat there. 511k HP at the moment. With like 3 uh, Holy Relic uh, passive stacks with uh, Thonar. Here though I think I'll just go for his ult. I'll go for her ult. Uh, his ult of course because the boss has... A 30% damage cap, I believe. And his ult at 46 deals an additional 55% death damage. That's 30 times 1.55, which is like 46 something percent health. And then this is gonna take another 30, so that's like his, the boss is gonna have less than 25% health left. I could potentially just go for like another one of these attacks that's gonna give Reinhardt his ult for next turn. And I think that attack is gonna deal like enough damage to push the boss. We'll also get like the final stack with the Thunder Holy Relic. It doesn't like work with her ultimate, but it does work with like regular attacks. All right, so we cleared it in one turn there. Now the biggest handicap this team has is, well, it does have like the Freyr ultimate, which is nice, but being able to kill the bosses at the same time on this phase is kind of annoying. Like it's not the easiest because you're not, you don't have Eskinor's finger poke. Uh, you don't have many AoE ultimates, you only have Reinhardt's AoE ultimate, which at 6 6 of course is going to give me both the all stat increase as well as the damage dealt increase by 50%. Those two are really, really nice, but we're going to ult with him. I think I'll just do this. That is going to do 60% of the boss's health. I should probably do this just to deal three damage caps. And then I don't know. Uh, I think this... Even though that's not going to do too much damage to the White Wolf, but it's probably fine. It's almost 3 damage caps, I guess. But it's basically at 10% health there. I'll save Bronhild's ult. I hope she can retain it. Because the White Wolf has a fireball that removes ults, right? Which is really, really annoying. And does this one, like, remove uh, buffs or something? Yeah, it does. It cancels buffs. That's also annoying. So we do need to keep that in mind. Uh, I need to attack twice before these two units actually get buffs again. So I might as well just attack with this attack and this attack. That is not gonna kill the boss. It has a 20% damage cap. And if I go into percentagecalculator.net, I should be able to easily calculate his HP there. So he has 61% health left. If I hit damage cap three times, that is gonna kill... So what I might do is, I might just get her ultimate. Do I get Freyr's ultimate? I don't need Freyr's ultimate. I'll just attack like this. So if these three attacks hit damage cap, we are cool. Um, they probably won't. Maybe they will. Is it 157? Yeah, so they will. But he will still have like 1% health. Uh, he is gonna taunt up this turn. So what I am gonna do, I'm gonna hope Ronhild retains her, her ultimate. And then I'm gonna kill the white wolf. But that's gonna increase the HP this left hand side wolf has. Then I'll ult him with Bronhild. And because he still has a damage cap of 30%, but 30% with increased HP is, of course, uh, gonna be a lot higher. So I will be able to heal for more, though I'm not really low with any of my units. I'll probably be able to fully heal anyway. Unfortunately, I don't have any Reinhardt cards. So I can't finish off with Reinhardt either. We're just gonna attack like this. That's easily gonna kill that wolf. And we just finish it off like this and we move on to the next lore. Now the floor 2 final phase is actually going to be easier. I don't think phase 1 is um, going to be any more difficult either. It's only like phase 1 on floor 3 that's kind of annoying. Uh, because the little one taunts when he actually stances up on the second turn. So there's, there's that to be considered. But here I'm just going to attack like this and then that. Because I don't think she will actually damage him on this floor. Uh, not with HP defense gear. And then we'll do the same exact sort of attack pattern that should deal potentially over like 20% of the boss's health. Let's see how much she does. Hardly anything. 
So it's basically up to them to deal damage. Oh, that was nothing. <laughs> Alright, but at least Brunhild brought it over 20%. Alright, here we actually can merge into one of these. Or I can use them, but we won't be able to like remove the little buff there. Uh, so I'll actually just merge them, just to be safe. I'll attack twice with Reinhard. He doesn't have like any additional buffs there, which is unfortunate. Uh, we will go for Brunhild's attack, as well as one of these, and maybe even try to kill it if this works. No. <laughs> Reinhardt's hits are too weak with only like two buffs or two stacks of Thonar's Holy Relic as well as like no additional buffs from himself. At least we'll be able to remove this uh, thingy there. Then we can ult if we want to because I do kind of want to kill. Yeah, this is going to give us Bronil's ult. Then I can do this just to ensure that he dies. And I think that's what I'm going to do. All right, yeah, because it gives himself like 50% defense related stats increase, which is kind of annoying. And that's like one of the good things about having Skadi instead of Freyr is that you can just remove those and you're not going to be affected by like the damage reduction that they're basically going to apply to you. Uh, here I kind of want to heal and I think that's actually what I'm going to do. Now, will this be enough? And then just sort of any attack that deals 10% damage. Here he actually got the damage dealt increased by 50%, so we might just use him here. So that hit damage cap. This one almost hit damage cap. This one hardly hit for anything. So we're gonna have to reset here, because I don't want to get infected. Especially not infected for two turns. That's really, really annoying. All right, so we did reset there. I guess I'm going to have to use the freer ultimate. Uh, this run is a little bit scuffed, but we can't expect perfect runs when we're like just doing guesswork on how much damage we're actually going to deal. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I think this is going to be enough. So I did heal there. I'm going to have to try to get another Bronhild ultimate, which of course I can if I sort of attack with... Uh, Thonar as well. So now we only have Thonar's ult here, and hopefully we can get some strong attacks, some really nice buffs with uh, Reinhard. Let's see what he gets. He gets frozen. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> he didn't get any attacks though. Um, but I, I can basically attack him five times before he gets the revive ability. And I'm gonna have to bank on actually being able to kill him, which doesn't look too likely. Like these detonate cards are gonna deal enough damage later. Uh, but if I go for her ultimate here, instead I'm attacking three times only. That way I will be able to get her ultimate as well. And then... Yeah, so the ultimate is easily gonna hit damage cap, and then we can do one more attack, and we should be able to bring it down. Now, unfortunately, Reinhard lost the Freyr buffs. He is gonna get one now, I think. Oh, she lost her ult. Well, I think this card is gonna hit for hard. We're gonna do that, and... Am I actually gonna bank on him dealing the rest of the damage? His HP is quite low because he doesn't have any buffs. Will he get any buffs from her? No. Uh, I might as well just attack this one with her then. I'm actually gonna do that beforehand. Then we move like this. Hold on. Maybe I don't even have to move. Maybe I'll just do this. Right? I'm attacking twice with him. Then I do... That, although I won't get her ultimate next turn. Maybe I don't need it. Next turn he's just gonna buff up anyway. And we do that. And I think that's gonna kill. If Thonar is able to hit here. Patience. So. Does that, yeah. It works for Holy Relic. And the Reinhardt finishes him off. I wanted to say easy, but <laughs> it's not quite easy. Hopefully he can get a nice buff. Hopefully he's gonna get like the Freyr buff as well. So he got one buff there. He's at 550,000 HP now. That's a little bit better. His stats are looking quite good. Crit chance and crit damage is high. He has the Thonar buff now as well. The 40%. This is gonna hit for hard. Uh, the boss has a 30% damage cap right. Now I do wonder which attacks are actually gonna be able to hit the 30% mark. There might not be that many actually, so should I just wait one more turn if that is the case? I think so. Yeah, I think so. 
Because I want to ult with Bronhild as like one of the final attacks, but I also kind of want to kill with uh, Reinhard. Which I think I can do with two attacks here. So if I ult with Bronhild first, and then I hit with Reinhard. Yeah, that's going to be the best bet here. So we ult, we hit, and just finish it off with Reinhard. Oh yeah, he did get a resurrection. But Reinhard has like all stats increase and all of that, so that was no problem for him. Maybe I should have gone for the gold attack. Just to get the animation, the camera work. Alright, we did get one of these. I'm at 110. I can almost make four holy relics with that. I'm only missing three though, so I can still make all of the holy relics. I will be able to get one for free. I'll soon be able to get all holy relics, and as well as the new king one, so I can make... I do have only three left that I have to craft, plus the king one, that's four. And then we'll also get the free, like, holy relic thingy. So, I will be able to just, just have, like, a holy relic sitting there, and then I can sort of focus on other demonic beasts and stuff like that. That's gonna be nice. Because I am missing some, like, really trash bird holy relics relics as well as like one or two deer holy relics i think i'm missing like the the old festival king the small wing king i think i'm missing his holy relic they're not really playing that unit this is quite unfortunate it's gonna hit really really hard here turn one if any of my units have, would have had like 80 percent health he would have focused them down probably killed them that's how like annoying this is but i'm just gonna do the same sort of attack here just attack with her that's gonna give us 20 percent hp related stats We hit for 60k. We still did 20% of the boss's health. It's gonna heal back just a little bit though, but it's still nice. Yeah, we did not get any more of these cards. That is unfortunate. I'm gonna bank on card draw actually, because I do need Bronil to heal back quite a lot here. I do have all stat increase with uh, Reinhardt here. He has quite a lot of HP. He's gonna get 20% more here. So we're gonna attack with Reinhardt as the final attack. I mean, that's still gonna be nowhere near able to kill, but I still wanna see the damage. And let's see how much she heals back here. 195k. Heals back for 100k. So almost 50% lifesteal. Yeah, that's good. And we do have some ultimates. We did not get any more of these. That is unfortunate. So we can only deal damage with the ultimate here. So I'm just gonna reset. Sometimes you have to do that. Like sometimes you just get bad luck. Maybe if I saved one of the Tonar cards, I would have gotten like being able to merge the Tonar card that's able to like remove stances. Because that's what we have to do. We have to remove the stance to be able to like focus down the white wall. I generally try not to do that, especially turn one, because I do want to sort of start building up uh, her holy relic passive. So I just like to attack with her. And we're just gonna hope for one of these cards. So I'm gonna attack with that and then that. Do the same exact thing, but just hope for some better card draws. And that's sort of what I tried to do last time as well, or last turn. Because I did want to, like, use up as many cards as I could, so I get, like, maximize card draw. I really get one of these. I might have to save that one. Where I'm gonna maximize card draw again by attacking with all of these five cards. I think that could work out well. It's gonna give us some additional stats as well. Reinhard did get all stat there. Uh... We are probably not gonna go for his ult or anything. I'm just gonna go for this. Unfortunately, he doesn't have more than three ult gauge orbs, so the detonate card isn't doing a lot of damage. But I think the power strike card is gonna hit for hard. Yeah, that hit quite hard, 281k. And we did get nothing, so we reset again. And I'll just cut until I actually get a good one. Alright, at least she survived. So, let's just do this, this, that's gonna break it. Then we do this, and this one do more. How much HP does he have now? 471. He'll get a, an additional couple of more HP points from uh, the Holy Relic by attacking once. I'm just gonna do this and hope for the best. Alright, that broke it. It's enough. The ult hit damage cap. Alright, so we're moving into the next phase. Um, unfazed, I want to say, but not really. She's frozen, that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. I might as well just tech with Reinhardt here, honestly, because he will hit damage cap quite easily. He does have the all stat increase already. I might not have to waste his ultimate. Uh, so if I do this, 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 like if that hits damage cap, that's going to be quite nice, honestly. 
Come on, let's go. This one surely hits damage cap easily. This one might. It didn't quite. And will this one hit? Alright, it did. I was able to save his ultimate. I do have another attack with him. Very good start actually going into the final phase. Um, and Brunel gets frozen again. Okay, okay. So I'll do this. I'll do that. And maybe if I attack with Thonar to like give us uh, one additional of her passive. Big doubt on that though. So we're just gonna do this. Attack the left hand side wolf as much as possible. That's Hati, isn't it? I think Skull is the white one. If my Norse mythology knowledge from when I was like six years old holds up. <laughs> I can't remember. It was like something like that. I think it was first class. Maybe I was seven. All right. Um, I'll be able to kill him. Probably not yet. Let's see how many attacks I need. I need one more attack before I actually attack with her. I might as well just give myself the buffs because I think she's easily going to kill there. I'm not too worried about his attacks either. I need to sort of heal back with Freyr, so we're gonna do some Freyr attacks. Come on, Freyr, you have to kill. Oh my god. If I was able to delete units, I wouldn't delete Freyr. Let's go! <laughs> I was gonna say I was gonna delete him, but nah. He clutched it out for us. I could actually go get some ultimates by using this and this. That's gonna give me those ultimates. I'll do this. And because he's full alt gauge orbs, I'll attack with this. So I'm just doing this for the um, alt gauges with my units. That way I can ult with Reinhard. I'll be able to, I think, ult with Bronhild. I'm not sure what her alt gauge is at the moment. I wasn't paying too much attention, honestly. 265k, that's not bad. Yeah, she did get her ult. I did get my Freya ult as well. Or Thonar ult, I mean. Unfortunately, I don't have any more Reinhardt cards. I'm gonna have to go into percentagecalculator.net and check the percentages of his health so I can finish it off with Reinhardt because this is a Reinhardt video, even though it's like a Thonar Holy Relic video as well. Uh, but if I go into 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 5, 5, that's, he's at 57% HP. I think all the attacks, all the... Ult attacks will hit damage cap anyway. So if I do this, just in case it doesn't, I'll attack with this card. And then we hit with the final ultimate there. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah. I thought his damage cap was 20%. Never mind. <laughs> Alright, yeah, this turned into a Thonar Holy Relic video. Oh my god, four of these. That's good. Now I'm only missing six of them, and I can craft four holy relics. But yeah, anyway, that's gonna be it for the video. Reinhard didn't do too bad. He actually did quite well. As you saw, he was able to basically alone go through the second phase there, which was really, really helpful. And yeah, I think that's gonna be it for the video. Tell me, are you gonna make Thonar's holy relic, or do you already have it? In if that's the case, like. Which holy relic are you gonna make for as like the free holy relic we'll get in? Well, on global, a couple of days times plus two weeks. On JP, exactly two weeks time. You'll be able to get enough materials for the holy relic. You can also like still grind out a couple of like the earlier floors to keep getting like these stones. And then of course, if you've played it for a while, uh, you should have already like been able to buy a bunch of these um, from the exchange up here, a bunch of these, whatever they're called, twilight sources. Oh, and while we're already here, like do keep in mind, do start doing these ones. Usually I, I tell people to like run this one because in this one you can get like SSR pendants. You can also like buy SSR pendants from the shop, which is nice. But from the Memories of Heaven, you can of course buy these Twilight sources. And you will be able to buy the new Demonic Beast sources as well. So running the uh, Memory of the Heavens is a lot better at the moment. So do waste your uh, World Tree runes on this instead of uh, the Memory of the Earth. But anyway, that's going to be it for me. Uh, hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching all that good stuff. And I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.